Hey, this is Noah from 9to5 Cameras. In this video, we've taken a quick look at the best backpacking camera available today. Price information and links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description. If you have other products you would like us to review, please tell us in the comments or visit 9to5cameras.com. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Start at number 5, we have Fujifilm X-T30. Prior to Nikon's entry in the space, Fujifilm was the closest runner-up to Sony in the mirrorless revolution. Of all the cameras in their lineup, the X-T30 makes the most sense for hikers. The Fuji X-T30 is comparable to the Sony A6500 in almost every way, with the main exception being that the Sony is weather sealed and this camera is not. I like to say that Fuji is more hipster friendly than Sony with better handling and the look and feel of a film camera. Fuji's color rendering is known to be the best for portraits, so this may be the one to go for if you're a hiker with a young family. Number, Canon EOS RP. It is the most affordable full-frame mirrorless camera that money can buy. If you're on a tight budget but still determined to go full-frame, this here is a shining specimen. Personally, however, I would probably spend a little extra and spring for the Sony A7 II. Remember, with the exception of having some fun and learning the ropes, it is my opinion that there is little need to upgrade from a cell phone unless you go full frame. Number 3. Nikon Z7 II Nikon and Canon made the best DSLR cameras for decades. After mirrorless cameras were first introduced in 2008, Sony took the lead in developing the technology to the point that their products surpassed the traditional manufacturers. The Z7 II is Nikon's latest release in the charge to catch up. It looks like a mighty fine camera and is certainly a better option than an equivalent DSLR. At over 2.5 pounds, however, it is even heavier than the Sony listed at number 2. And again, probably too much camera for most backpackers. Still, Nikon loyalists are rejoicing in this lineup. to Olympus DG6. If you are tough on cameras and camera gear or really just don't wanna worry about breaking your investment on the backpacking trail, take a look at the Olympus DG6. It is considerably lighter than a mirrorless camera, fully weather sealed and virtually indestructible. A truly waterproof camera, the Olympus DG6 can be submerged down to 50 feet. It is also dustproof shockproof, able to withstand temperatures down to minus 10 C, can be dropped up to 7 feet, and is crushproof up to 100 kilograms. The TG6 comes with a versatile 25-100mm f2.0 zoom lens that has decent image quality and strong low light performance, especially underwater. In fact, many consider it to be the best compact camera in its class for underwater photography. The 1 inch sensor is only 12 megapixel, but Olympus has a talent for pairing low megapixel sensors with lenses that work exceptionally well. The result is sharper, more detailed images than what many 16 and 20 megapixel compact cameras can produce. Unlike many compact cameras in this price range, the Olympus TG6 comes with an automatic microscopic stacking function that produces stunning microphotos.
number Sony A7R 4 For superior image quality in a portable package, the Sony A7R 4 is easily the best camera for hiking and backpacking. It is the lightest and most compact high resolution camera on the market. In its 61 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor delivers stunning image quality across the board. At less than 2 pounds, the Sony A7R4 is quite manageable for most hiking and backpacking endeavors. In fact, if you pair it with prime lenses, you will be amazed at how small your camera gear kit will be. Wide angle zooms like the Sony 16 to 35mm are a bit heavier, but still make for a lighter kit than a comparable DSLR plus lens. If you're a landscape or macro shooter and want more than 61 megapixel, the A7R 4's pixel shift mode will get you up to a whopping 240 megapixel. You will need a tripod for this though, as any movement in the frame will disrupt the image. For wildlife shooters, the A7R 4 comes with an improved version of Sony's famous autofocus tracking system. If you've never used it before, prepare to be amazed. This top of the line mirrorless camera also manages a 10 FPS burst mode with full autofocus despite its high resolution. Another plus is the Sony A7R4's in-body image stabilization. As long as you're not using the pixel shift mode, you can often get by without using a tripod, even at the blue hour. And let's face it, even the lightest of travel tripods are going to add unwanted weight to your pack.